Hi friends, my name is Anuradha and in this lecture we will be setting up InfluxDB on Windows. As part of this, we will be following steps posted on my blog qamilestone.com and these milestone steps include download InfluxDB, configure InfluxDB instance, start InfluxDB server, verify configuration, start it as service and run InfluxDB client and get it started so let's get it started so first step is to download influx db okay if you click on the first link you'll be taken to portal.influxdata.com downloads and here you can see four stacks from influx db which are also which is also called tick stack which includes telegraph influx db chronograph and capacitor. What we'll be doing, we'll be downloading iPad, that is Influx TV, and we'll be downloading this stable version, right? And all you have to do, you have to go to this link, and it will take you to another window where you have to download according to your OS. So, since we are doing here for Windows, we'll be downloading window binaries. So, you have to click on this link to download window binaries and then unzip it to your preferred location. So I am on location where I have extracted InfluxDB and what you will see after extraction there are exe files and one conf file. What we will be dealing is primarily with these three files InfluxD, Influx and InfluxDB. InfluxD is to start server and influx is a cli utility and influx db is conf file we can start influx d as it is but let's have a look on influx db conf file so there are a few sections in influx db and they do have their default settings and we can change as per our requirement so i've already changed these sections where we need to specify our directory so i have created my directory in parent folder i have created these extra directories over here matter wall and data and that is what i'll be doing in my influx db con file i'll be updating these locations default locations over here in the individual sections so i have updated directory location in matter i have updated directory location in data section then in wall section right and then i'll go to http section by default it is enabled is true and these are the default settings for http we don't have to do anything uh, about it okay so as uh, influx db comes up with a endpoint with the help of which we can query or write uh, qu uh, queries to write uh, measurements to db this is setting for this http and then there is logging section okay and in this section we can control the level of our information default level is info okay and if i have to change it to different level i have to uncomment it and i have to write it as whatever level i want okay next thing is to run server let's copy this location and let's go to command prompt i'll go to this location and if you don't if you want to use this as command itself you can specify in your path variables so i'm on this location and uh, to run this i'll just do influx d and it should run my server as you see we get logs when the server starts and uh, these logs are presented on standard console and in case i don't want these logs to be there on standard console i have to give this command to append and whatever location i want so currently i'll store it in current location only to log file dot log okay so now this should uh, redirect my information to log file dot log see i have got this created over here so in case I want to verify something, I can redirect my information to some log file and have verification done over there. 
The other thing is suppose you do some uh, some changes in influx db what i mean by changes is changing some setting in conf file to make that effective you have to refer to conf file also so for that you need to add influx db dot conf file i think there is some issue let me check it out yes it says unknown command influx db dot conf so there is some problem which i have um, presented oh okay i have not given argument this parameter okay i have not given this parameter config so let's start it again okay so it seems to start well and um, the other next step is to go to influx uh, to start influx cli um, before we start in flux cli uh, let me tell you uh, because we are starting flux db server from command prompt once we log out we have to log in and then if we log in again and we need to start uh, in flux db we have to do this follow this steps again and again and in case you want to keep on running your influx db you have to run it as influx db service for that i have mentioned it is on my site qmilestone.com how to set it up as service okay and um, as you can see steps are mentioned over here and what we have to do we have to download one window utility called nssm utility and then we have to run commands from nssm to install service and start it okay so right now i'll not be starting it as service my influx db is already running in case you want to run it as service you can refer those steps now i have to run influx cli for that i have to open command prompt again and go to the location to run influx cli i have to give this command influx that's it okay so right now i have not confirmed configured any username password in my con file in case you will be you give any username password you have to specify it here okay so i'll run influx and that should get me connected to cli which is influx shell to talk to or to interact with different databases we have different commands and we can interact with these databases like i have these databases over here okay so what we will be doing in our next uh, section is that we'll be downloading and importing this particular sample database which is available publicly and then we'll be executing some commands on this database okay let's move to our next lecture